What's up guys? I'm Jim Ansel. This is Real Deal Outdoors. We just got our September mystery tackle box. Okay, so before we rip into this box, I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box as always for sponsoring this video. They've provided this box for me for the last several months. It's been a great experience. I love getting my Mystery Tackle Box every month. There's always good stuff in there. And I always recommend this box to friends. It's really cool getting this box every month. It's something for you to look forward to as an angler. So listen guys, if you're interested in trying out Mystery Tackle Box, I've got a code down in the description. You can use that code and get a discount off of your first box. I would love to help introduce you guys to this service. It's been really cool for me over the last year using this box. I get all kinds of stuff in here that I'm not used to using so it forces me to step outside the box it makes me a better angler really and if you're new to the sport of bass fishing it's gonna help you guys build up your tackle box so head on over to the mystery tackle box website you can plug that code in get yourself a discount try this thing out there's no obligation you can cancel at any time give it a try guys I think you'll really enjoy it all right so let's jump into this September box and see what they sent us this month I'm, I'm excited to see what we've got here because we're getting ready to go into that fall transition they probably sent us some baits that are going to be great for that but let's check it out and see all right guys so let's rip into this box uh, as we go through here I'll explain to you guys what we're getting uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about each bait we'll talk a little bit about everything else that's included in the box and uh, let's see what we got all right guys so the first thing we're going to come to in here is our paperwork just like always all right first off we've got our dibble uh, this thing has a lot of tips and tricks in it guys it goes along with whatever kind of box that you get so if you get a panfish box or, or whatever it's going to have tips and tricks for that particular species or that particular technique in there uh, i always tell people to read this thing i've been fishing for over 30 years and there's there's stuff in here that even i didn't know uh, every once in a while there's a useful tidbit in here for me so definitely check this out i tell people all the time don't throw this thing away read it read it read it read it especially if you're a new guy all right so the next thing that we come to in here is our bait card and the bait card is just it tells you what you got in the box tells you what everything in the box was worth so it kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting as far as value goes and uh, it's it's just really cool down here at the bottom there's a link if you go to that link there's going to be little videos about each one of the lures that you got in here so that's a really cool touch that they've started doing lately but if you guys don't know a whole lot about the baits that are in the box this is a great way to find that information out so check that out all right so the next thing that we come to in here are a couple of individual bait cards these are our mtb hat guy monthly spotlights and you're going to get one of these in every box probably going forward uh, it's something new that they've kind of started doing each month and tells you just a little bit about some of the baits that are in the box. Then of course we come to our sticker. It wouldn't be a mystery tackle box without getting a unique sticker every month. This month they've got some throwback stickers in there which is really cool. I uh, love the old school vibe. You've got uh, the old logo here and, and a couple of other brand logos and stuff. So these are really cool. Uh, this is something that Mystery Tackle Box does in every box. You're going to get a unique sticker. Uh, something for you guys to slap on tackle boxes or on your car or, or, or your boat or wherever you want to put them at. It's just a neat touch that they add to every box each month. All right, guys. So here we go. This is what you guys are here for. Uh, these are the baits that we got this month. So let's see what we have here. All right. So the first thing we've got in the box here, guys, is a bait from Yozuri. It's a 3DB bait. It's a uh, crank 1.5. It says that it's a floater. It's 60 millimeters or two and three eighths inches. Uh, says it's 13.5 grams or one half ounce. I really like that color pattern. It looks like a pretty natural looking color pattern here. Let's see what we got going on on the back. Yeah, so it says our color pattern there is green shad. All right, and it's also got a range on there. It says that this dives from five to eight feet, so it's a moderately deep dive in crankbait. Really nice looking crankbait, guys. I like this bait. Uh, Yozuri makes a good solid lure. I always love getting Yozuri baits, and I've got a bunch of them in my tackle box. They work really well. They make really high quality stuff, and they've been on the market for a really long time. So they're definitely proven fish catching machines. So this lure right here, I, I don't use a lot of deeper diving crankbaits, uh, but eight foot is not super deep. I'll probably be able to get away with using this in some of the holes out here in the marsh. Not a whole lot of deep water around here. I say that in every video. It's just not a place where deep diving crankbaits are needed very often. So. Uh, but I'll put it in the tackle box and eventually I'll have something come up and, and I'll be able to use this thing. But I really do like that color pattern. I like that red eye on there. I uh, always love the natural shad color patterns because they work better around here than pretty much anything out there. So it's going to come in handy eventually. All right, guys. So the next thing we got in here is one of these Guggen hard baits. It's uh, a collaboration that they did with Catchco. There's lots of these things out there. They're really good lures. Uh, I've gotten a whole bunch of these over the last several months. This one's called the Flat Banger. It's a flat-sided square bill crankbait. 
Uh, really, really nice crank. I've used this a couple of times out in a couple of the ponds that I've fished in and it does catch fish. And I'll tell you what guys, I've really liked all the Guggen Squad baits that I've tried. I've, I've had the opportunity to try most of the baits in their lineup and I've caught fish on everything. So they all work really well. All right, so it says our diving depth here is three to six feet. The length is two and a half inches and the weight is one half ounce. And on the bottom, it tells us that our color is shotgun shad, which is a really cool looking color. I do really like this color and I think it's gonna work really well around here. It's kind of a pearlescent white. It's got some silver scale patterning on the back here and on the belly, it's got kind of a chartreuse color. So really cool looking bait, man. One of the things that I really love about all these Guggen Squad baits is right on the belly of the bait, it's gonna tell you how deep this bait dives. You know, that might not be a big deal for some of you guys, but if you're if you're somebody like me who's got a million and one lures in your box, uh, it takes the guesswork out of picking what you want. Uh, you can oftentimes tell how deep something's going to dive just by looking at the lip, uh, but if you're a new guy, that's going to be one of those things that comes in great handy. I think all these things are also loaded up with Mustad triple grip hooks, which are awesome hooks. You're not going to have to change these hooks out of the box. Uh, oftentimes, I'll change the hooks out of the box because they're just cheaper hooks and I'll put something on there that's gonna be a little more sturdy, uh, but you don't have to worry about that with these. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be one of those baits that's gonna be great during the fall transition. Uh, you're gonna be able to take this bad boy out in some of the shallows and tear these fish up with this thing. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a great fish catcher for y'all. Oh wow, this thing right here is pretty cool. Uh, this is called the Hypo Twist, and it's from a company called Weston. I've gotten a lot of stuff from Weston over the last year in mystery tackle boxes they've sent me all kinds of different uh, western lures and i've really enjoyed most of what i've gotten from them uh, they make some pretty high quality lures and they're pretty unique they've got really good color patterns on them they've got all kinds of different lures in their lineup they're very versatile and i, I really enjoy them now, i think this is going to be a top water lure it does say floating up here uh, it, it's got this boot tail on it, so I'm guessing it's going to be doing some kind of action along the lines of a whopper plopper or maybe one of those tackle frogs that has the uh, the boot tail on it. You know, I like all the baits that I got with that boot tail design. It, it causes a lot of ruckus on the surface and it gets bit very often. So this is going to work for sure. Now it says here that the bait is four and a half inches long. It's five eighths of an ounce. And let me see. Okay, on the back it says that we've got crazy bluegill is the color pattern, crazy bluegill. So really nice looking lure, guys. It's got some molded in scaling. Uh, it, it's pretty realistic looking. You know, baits like this during the fall transition work really well. I think you're gonna get a lot of bites on this bait. I mean, it, it looks like it's quality made. Uh, everything else that I've gotten from Weston has been quality made, so. Uh, no reason to think that this wouldn't be. Yeah, this is a great addition to your tackle box, especially if you're a new guy. Uh, any bait that's got that boot tail design on it, I really love those. It's just a proven fish catcher, guys. All right, so the next thing that we got here are some Trokar shuttle jigs. That's pretty cool. It's like a jig that's got a flat head. Now that's a pretty unique design. That's something that I haven't seen before. Um, it, it's definitely different. I don't know what I would use this for, honestly. I've never seen one of these things in action, so I don't know what exactly it'll do in the water. Uh, I don't know if that flat head gives it a unique action or not. I really don't know. I do know that those Eagle Claw Trocar hooks are fantastic hooks. They've got a really sharp tip on them. Uh, I use a lot of their hooks for my swim baits and stuff like that, so I'm familiar with the Trocar brand. I just don't know a whole lot about the flat head jigs like this, the shuttle jig. But anyway, it says the size here is a half ounce. You get two of them in the box. It says it's a Cabela's exclusive. And of course, it's made in the USA. But anyway, guys, this is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Mystery Tackle Box often sends you things that you're not familiar with, things that maybe you'll be uncomfortable with that make you step outside the box. I've never used or heard of anything like this, so this is going to be different for me. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a try after I go online and do a little research and figure out what to do with these. Then I'll take them out in the field and I'll put them into practice and see what happens. All right, so let's move on along, see what else we got. Getting down to the wire, there's only a couple of things left in here. All right, so it looks like we got some soft plastics here from Hoax Fish. And this thing is called the Scam Shad. And it looks like we've only got a three pack here, so this is a sample pack, I think. All right, it says our baits have the proper size, action, and profile that screams easy meal. So let's open this up. We'll have a look at these things and see what they look like. All right, guys, this is a very unique lure. It's, it's really weird. Um, it looks like we've got a hook channel right here uh, that runs down the center of the bait. And it 
kind of protrudes from this flat back. You've got this knob up here on the head, which I think is going to be good and durable for, uh, for putting the hook through. And then back here, you've got these appendages on the tail end. So I imagine you could fish this thing in a variety of different ways. Uh, it looks like it would probably be pretty good for maybe a shaky head or something like that. I don't know whether this is buoyant or not. Uh, I'm not real sure if this tail is going to stand up in the air and, and wiggle around. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, again, this is one of those lures that I'm not familiar with, so I'm going to have to take it out in the field and, and test it. I might do a test tank Tuesday on this thing, uh, just, just out of curiosity to see what it looks like underwater. But uh, it, it's a neat looking lure for sure. I think it's definitely going to catch fish. As weird as that design is, it, it looks like it's definitely going to catch fish. The blue-black pattern, that's going to work for sure. Uh, out, out here especially, I've got darker water, so uh, these darker colors work much better in that darker water. Uh, it just provides a lot more contrast for the fish to see. So I think this is going to work really well. Uh, I'll take it out in the field. I might do a test tank Tuesday on this thing. And uh, I might get back to you guys and let you know whether or not it works. But there you guys go, man. It's kind of an odd lure from a company called Hoax Fish. And uh, it does say up here that they're made in the USA, which I love. I, I, I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right. And last but not least in the box, we have got some terminal tackle here. And this stuff comes to us from a company called Harmony Fishing. And there's some hooks in here. It looks like uh, extra wide gap hooks. And you know that's something that Mystery Tackle Box also does. They usually include some terminal tackle in every box to get you up and running right out of the box. So I really like that because I go through some hooks, guys, and it's nice to get a few extras every month that I can top off the, uh, the tackle box with. And they send a variety of different kinds of terminal tackle. You're not always going to get extra wide gap worm hooks and stuff like that. Uh, I've gotten Carolina rig kits in here. I've gotten all kinds of different jigs and jig heads and stuff like that. So they send you a variety of stuff. And like I said earlier, that's really good, especially for you new anglers. Uh, that, that's really going to give you guys a lot of the tools of the trade and uh, get you to step outside of your comfort zone. All right, so there you guys go, man. That's the September Pro Bass Box. Uh, we got a few great things in there. I really like that Weston lure and my Guggen lure. Uh, both of those are going to come in great handy for me. I'm not sure about that deep diving crank. Like I said, I don't use a lot of deep divers around here. I'm sure it'll come in handy eventually. And then we got a couple of oddities in this box, some definite outliers. Uh, that's exactly what I was telling you guys about earlier. N no matter how weird a lure looks, I'm going to give it a try because I've gotten some really weird looking lures. I've tried them out and they work really, really well. Uh, I got this one from a, a company called Lunker City and it was I think it was called the Osmo. The thing looked like something straight out of an alien movie and it was catching fish left and right. So I know a lot of you guys will get this box and you'll find some of this stuff in there and you'll be like, what in the world is this? Why are they sending me this? Try it. Give it a shot. Give it a try. You know, I've seen some comments from people on message boards and stuff like that. Like, why are they sending me this unknown tackle? Guys, that's kind of the point. Uh, getting a service like this forces you to step outside the box. You can always go to the tackle shop and buy the stuff that you buy on a regular basis. Uh, something like this is meant to be fun. It's meant to be a, it's a mystery tackle box. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get. And that's really part of this whole experience. So come to this thing with an open mind and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the results. And like I said, stepping outside of the box and trying new things isn't going to do anything except make you a better angler in the long run. It's going to introduce you to new techniques. You're going to learn how to use all kinds of different lures. It's just a great opportunity for you guys to expand. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Look, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you go down, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the, the channel's kind of slowed down lately. There's a lot going on with the coronavirus and everything. My, my kids were home for summer break, but now they've started back to school and school is online at home and I'm at home with the kids all day every day. So making videos is something that's it's getting harder and harder for me to do. I've also got a newborn at home now that I'm taking care of during the day. So uh, making these videos is getting a little more difficult. But definitely head down and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Then make sure you hit that little bell notification. That's going to tell you guys every time that I post a brand new video. Then head down to the comment section, guys. Let me know what your favorite lure was out of this month's box. Tell me what you thought about the box. Uh, we, we can talk. If you have any questions about any lures or anything in there, drop those down there. I'll answer those questions for you guys. That's one of my favorite things about running this channel. I enjoy having the interaction with you guys. So make sure you drop me your comments down below. Well, guys, once again, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate y'all being here and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines.